Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So we've got a new map. Alright, so this is Stone Valley 22. This is by Lancy Boy, 140.11 megabyte in the download. And it says, welcome to Stone Valley 22. This map is based in Illinois in America. Very nice indeed. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on all three game modes, you're going to use 1,003 slots. And that's because all the equipment and all the buildings are here on all three game modes. Very nice indeed. So what we're we talking about from an equipment perspective, if we go into this menu here, we go under medium tractors. We've got the John Deere 4755, the John Deere 7810, the Massey Ferguson MF3670. And under harvesters, we've got the Deutz Far Top Line of 4090H. Under cars, we've got the Lizard Pickup 1986. On the trailers, we've got the Welker DK115. On the headers, we've got the Deutz Far Top Line of 4090 header. On the cultivators, oh, we've got the Rabe EG392.5. <laughs> Shocking. Oh dear, oh dear. On the cedars, oh, it carries on. The Norston HK25 plus NS3030, 3 meter cedar. On the header trailers, we've got the top line of 4090 trailer. And then on the weights, we've got the 10 Winkle Pack 750 times 2. So what are we talking about from a map perspective? If we come on this menu here. Now, if you come on Farm Manager and start from scratch, obviously you don't own any land. If you come on New Farmer, you own this land here. So we've got Field 2, Field 6, and also the Periphery. Now, you can buy the Periphery. Not a problem. It's only going to cost you zero absolutely zero if you want to buy that now if you're going to buy fields on farm manager and start from scratch the cheapest one is going to be field 20 no field 30 down the bottom here 80 grand and the most expensive one is going to be this little patch up here is field 10 and field 5 together 2.2 million <sighs> oh that is pricey oh fair enough Obviously, it is a big bit of land. Now, what can you sell on this map? And the good news is you can pretty much sell everything that you normally would be able to sell on the map. Obviously, Siege can't sell. Fair enough. Usual shenanigans with that. So, we'll carry on going down. And you've got diesel there you can't sell. you also got electric charge and methane as a selling thing. Obviously, if you place a sell point down, jobs are good in. Now, if you carry on, road salt you can sell, but you don't get any money for it. We keep on going down because there is a little thing down at the bottom which i think is very nice so we'll keep on scrolling down obviously solid fertilizer liquid fertilizer no you can't sell that which is fair enough manure you can't sell slurry digestate lime you can't sell herbicide and stone there is no di um, debris crusher on the map so if you come down further we've got new crops we've got compost alfalfa windrow alfalfa hay windrow clover windrow and clover hay wind wind row i need to put my teeth in so we've got two new crops there that's excellent now if we come on to the maps we go back up to there so we start right in the middle here all three game modes you start right here this is the main farm stone valley farm established 2022 very nice so we'll come up the driveway we'll turn to the right this is going to be your sleep trigger on your house sleep there through the night very nice and we'll come out of there we'll go around here we've got a couple of barns sheds buildings whatever you want to call it nice bit of space under there is that light switch over there oh it is <laughs> although i'm getting the turn shed lights on quite far away from it all right fair enough We've got another storage area here just put your bales in or even your vehicles if you wanted to and then we'll come around here this is your main farm silo load in load out at the front and then we'll come in this building here open up that door a bit more storage turn the lights on if you want to then we'll come around here you've got a water tank fill up your water if you want to do some greenhouses or your animals We'll come into this building here. Again. Nice storage area for your vehicles. Or even just your pallets if you're doing production chains. And we'll come around here. And we've got a chicken pasture. Again, this hasn't got a 
water trick one which is nice so we'll click on that hold 30 comes with seven so already got chickens in that is very nice obviously loads your food in there and you'll take out uh, your egg pallets there your egg pallet spawn points now what i do think about this map which is really nice it's on the website it says it's the farm has basically been left with somebody because you know they've had enough of farming and some of your equipment's already in the field so if we go into that one you see here obviously you got your tractor there that's seeding some stuff already you've got your harvesters halfway through harvesting a field and then you've got that tractor there by the looks of it is cultivating so you've already got a job started off which i think is ace very nice right so that's your main start farm we're now going to come down to this area here so this is going to be your first sale point this one is going to be called grain rich valley fair enough obviously load your stuff into there but also while we're down here it's not shown on the map yet and i'll say yet it's a spinnery because you're gonna to have to buy the area so we'll go and click on that so that's going to cost us 24 grand we'll buy that yes thank you very much and then now the spinnery icon shows up so obviously you've got your production chain menu there now obviously we now own it because we bought the land and you come down the side and you've got your loading in point there and your pallet spawn point will be there although the hatch market area is not there but, all right fair enough we'll carry on we're now going to come if we go back up to the main menu we'll zoom out we're going to come over to this area here and in this area first off we've got a diesel fuel tank so obviously you come and fill it up it's empty at the minute it's going to hold 10,000 liters but you've got this building here which is actually a cow barn but again you need to buy the land so we'll click on that we'll buy that yes 246 grand we now got a cow barn <laughs> right how many does this hold 150 cows so we'll open up that door like that now we've gone down the wrong one <laughs> shocking we need to open up that door there we are all right so there's your loading in point for your feed and then around this side no okay where's the milk taking out point then it's got a lily it's interesting all right we'll come oh it's in this building here isn't it there's your milk taking out point open up that door there's your milk tank yeah there we are fair enough then we'll come down here and this is going to be your slurry pit but it's, it's actually in the ground <laughs> i'd say he's obviously i don't know if that fills up with slurry but that would be brilliant if it does but you take your slurry out there if you want to now there is no manure pit mind you so you may have to place one down unless there's one up this side of the building no it's just the house so you may want to place a manure pit down oh it's over there completely <laughs> looked the wrong way around so we've got a bit of a shed on the go there obviously open up that bit of storage inside and we'll come over here there's your no they're not manure pits are they there they're bunker silos so yeah you will need to place a manure pit down if you want to get your manure and then we'll come down out there oh the fence is in the way we'll jump over that so we'll come down to this shed like that so you've got another little shed well fairly big shed there for you and then we'll come further down the road because you've now got this building here we'll open up that there's your workshop trigger obviously pull your vehicle in there hit the spanner icon oh very nice you can have a little start farm right here if you want to come on farm manager or start from scratch you've got the house up the top you can put sleep trigger down there no problem oh i like that right we're now going to come up to this area up here and this is going to be your animal dealer so obviously you pull your vehicle over there if you want to or if not you can just have them delivered directly and you come down this side and around the back because you've got a cell point down here this is going to be i'd imagine your animal dealer cell point we'll just click on the map double check on that there we are oh north valley bales fair enough not animal dealer then and we'll come back out around We've got a couple more things up here 
just to the right over here. We've got a buy point for your... Well, that looks like fertiliser, to be fair. All right, we'll click on the map. Let's have a look. Zoom in. There you are. Better Earth Products. That's a buy point for something. Normally, that would be fertiliser. All right, we'll carry on. So, we'll come down this side of the building. Oh, there's a little collectible there. Oh, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Grand in my back pocket. So, we'll come down here. There's an, another sale point for you. So this one's going to be called North Valley Farmer Storage. Sell your stuff in there. Yeah, nice little area that is. Oh, that's no, a pump truck. I thought it was another collectible. I mean, you've got a couple of houses dotted down here as well if you really wanted to go for the start from scratch shenanigans. Yeah, very nice. Right, we're now going to move over to this area here. So this is going to be another diesel tank. Again, obviously you come up to the spanner, it's going to hold 10,000 litres, fill it up, and then load into your vehicle there. But, whilst we're down here, if we click on that and buy the land, 95 grand to buy, yes, we've now got sheep pasture. <laughs> we'll spin around there, and there we are. So we'll come in this side, here's your animal dialogue box, 200 sheep, oh that's alright. So you load your water into there, and we'll come back around this side. Got your pallet spawn point there, and obviously load your feed into there. Now there is a couple more buildings on this area. You've got a bit of a shed under there, fair enough. Then you've got a house over there if you want to use that house. And these are here, but they're just decorative. So you can't use those silos. You can open up that one. Use that as a shed. I've got a light switch. Oh, yeah. There we are. Excellent. Right. We're now going to come all the way down to this area here. So, this is going to be another cell point. This is going to be your biomass heating plant. So, usual rules apply here. Obviously, pull your vehicle over there. Hit your cell icon there. Very nice. We're now going to move over to this area here. So this is going to be another diesel tank. So obviously you fill up that side and you come in this side as well. There you are, 10,000 litres. And again, this is another building. So if we go into there and we'll buy that. 496 grand. Yes. Because that's going to give you a pigsty. Oh, very nice. So we'll come around this side. There's your animal dialogue box. It's going to hold 400 pigs. We'll open up this door, like right that. The light switch there. Ooh. And we'll come down here, although we didn't really need to open up that door to be fair. There's your water trigger there. There's your loading in point for your feed. Well, there is no slurry taking out point, so... Hmm, you may need to place one of those down, actually. And then, again, like the others, we've got some... Barns, sheds, buildings, whatever you want to call it, dotted around. You've got a water tank there. So, another shed there. Then we'll open up this door here. Some more storage for you. Then we'll spin back around. You've got a house there. Place yourself a sleep trigger down. Jobs are good in. We're now going to come down to this area here. So this can be another selling point. So it's going to be called South Valley Stores. I nearly said Stone Valley there. South Valley Stores. Obviously, you load your stuff over there. We're going to come down the road a little because there's a little something extra in the works down here. So I have a little jog down the road. In the September... Well, it's not even sunny. It's just a little bit cloudy, is not it? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, so we're going to be about here because... If we go into the menu, click on buy the land, click on that bit, yes, 56 grand, that now gives us a production chain. Ooh, grain mill, very nice. So obviously your production chain menu there, pallet spawn point there, then we'll come up here, and there's going to be your loading in point. Ooh, very nice. Then we'll come back down here, 
We're gonna come. Oh, we're gonna go through here actually. Because it's up here. We'll come down the end of this building. And then we'll sling a left because there's your south point. So this one, go back up to the map like that. That is going to be called Valley Sail. And we'll carry on out here. Down this point. So this can be another buy point for you. And normally the buy points are for lime on the map. But these silos are normally for not lime. Put it that way. Fertilizer or whatever. Better earth products. Let's go down the shop. Better earth products. So let's have a look. Lime. But yeah, better earth products. It is for lime. All right, they're using a different silo. Fair enough. Then we'll come out of there. We'll come over the road. This is where you're going to have your main shop and your workshop. So you've got your workshop area there. Obviously, your spanner icon there. And we'll come over here to a little sale shop for the main menu. Very nice. Then we'll hop over that fence. We'll watch out for vehicles, because obviously you know what I'm like for getting run over. Got another sale point here, so this is going to be your supermarket. So we'll just double check it is called supermarket. Yeah, fair enough. And we're going to come down the road again. We've got a couple more sale points down here. Oh, when this building opens? No, fair enough. Might as well give it a try. Now, I like these waterways. Because there's something special with these. I'm going to put a picture up now. Because something that Lancy Boy shared out. When he was doing his mod making shenanigans with all this. Is a before picture of a farm. Uh, a farmer in his tractor. Doing whatever he's doing. And then the after picture. Is the area flooded. <laughs> Which is brilliant. So when you have a lot of rain. Some of these waterways are going to flood. Now that is ace. Oh, I do like that. Right, let's carry on. So, we're going to come up here. We're going to go over the road. So, first up, obviously, you got your fuel station. How much is it selling for? 69. Nice. <laughs> and we've also got a south point here. So, we'll click on that. Stone Valley fuel stop. Then we'll come around the back. We've got another south point there. And that is going to be called Fast Food Restaurant. And that's your map. Do you know what? I do like this. This is a very nice map. I mean, it's nice and big and open. So we'll go, in, go into that. We'll have a little fly over. It's nice and big and open. You've got areas that you can be cracking on with. Get your big machinery on the go. Which is a strange thing since we start off with three metre equipment. <laughs> the size of the fields are huge. Or you could be using your 3 meter equipment, no problem. It's going to take you ages to get the job done, mind you, but there we are. Now, I do like this map, especially with that, with the waterways that they flood if it's been raining a lot. That is excellent. I do like this map. Very nice. Right, so that's your map tour done. Drop it in the comments below. What are you thinking of doing? Are you going to smash out some fields? Are you going to just do some animals? We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, it's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.